Good afternoon everybody, how are we all doing? I hope you're all doing fine, it's Saturday. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Kathy. I hope you're all doing fine. And um, just a reminder, I'm going to be doing a live around about seven, maybe half past seven tonight. If I can get everything sorted before then, you know, settled cat's medication, etc, etc. Um, but I want you to come on t today, just now I mean, because I've just seen something so concerning on YouTube and I hope YouTube sort it out um, um, and the police get involved in this um, and I know I said I won't do another video on the Ingham family but this needs no wonder they have moved to Dubai and I kind of get what Sarah says now um, so let me start that again so I, I watched a video on the raccoon official i think not i watched yesterday's but the day before and someone had said something on ingham the hingham something i think it must be on facebook because someone was saying how sarah looks relaxed on the lines of that and looks more you know happy should i say i can't remember exactly what the words are but that's what he put on his video and she obviously Put a response back um, and then saying that she feels a lot safer for where she is and her family and I'm not kidding you I'm kind of glad that she's they're there and they're feeling safe especially the kids and I'm glad that she's happy and I'll tell you why because again I watched this video yesterday it just popped up in my feed um, and it came up with something interesting so I thought oh let's have a look um, and oh my god, the police I think need to be getting involved in this, um, and I mean ASAP, because Raccoon found out who had been messaging Sarah, emailing, with some death threats, threatening to uh, unalive them, and I can't R-A-P-E, the children, and slitting the throat, just generally sickening. This kid must be in his twenties, and the way he come across, I'm not kidding. I couldn't half of it. I couldn't understand, but I heard the terrorist terrorist bit. I heard the death threats. I heard other things. It just jumped out on you, and the evil that was in his face. I'm not kidding. A raccoon, even raccoon admitted he, he felt for the Ingham family and I do I'm not kidding you and I know I've done a few videos in the past about him and yeah you know that's in the past and yeah I do like to kind of watch what they're getting up to now because I'm never going to experience flying to another country because I'm scared of fights for one and I have a fear of something going wrong and my anxiety would go through the roof, so it's best way. So I like to watch them just to see what the countries are like and what they get up to and stuff like that. I'm never going to experience that. So it's nice to watch another channel that are doing that. Anyway, so I do believe, Sarah, please, you need to get the police involved. I've seen, seen the messages that obviously popped up on your chat, uh, chat I think it was. But I think if you haven't already, go across to the raccoon and watch that video we uploaded yesterday because it's sickening. You might not want to hear it, but I think in, for your own safety, the police need to get involved. And I wish the police will do something for you. I feel really bad. I would not wish that on anybody. The threats, the nastiness he was coming out with, there was no emotion. It, it looked, there was nothing there. You know what I mean? Like, he really wanted to do harm to someone. And I'm like, if you don't like them, just let them get on with their life. Just block them on YouTube. Just whatever. This kid is concerning. I'm not kidding you. If the police don't deal with him, I think he's going to end up either doing some serious harm or he's going to actually carry out what he said he's going to he wants to carry out. Um... You know, like America people, Americans, where they've got kids that go into schools and do shootings and they're alive and everybody. This is what I think kids will end up doing because 
I'm not putting these videos on my channel because that's not what I want. But I wanted to bring it awareness, please, people. This kid needs stopping. Um, and last night, it was just, I was trying to sleep and all I could think about is what he was saying. And I'm like, oh, to God, those, the, the Hingham family is okay over there. No wonder they disappeared. Not disappeared, but moved out of the country for their own safety. And yeah, she does look a lot happier. The kids look more relaxed. Um, I mean, they'll probably feel more relaxed once they're settled in. But for this disgusting, disgusting human being making those kind of threats, nah, he needs, he needs to get in, he needs some professional help and jailed for the safety of everybody, not just the Hingham family, but people around him, because he, the way he spoke to his dog, just because his dog were barking, he was like, you shut the effing up, dog. A couple of times he did that. But I didn't finish watching the um, the raccoon on that bit, because I, I started getting a bit upset and hungry, and I won't, want, like I say, won't wish this on anybody. Oh. I hope for the, please, Ingo family, I hope you have got, keep the copies of those emails and I'd go across to the raccoon official, sorry, um, hello, that's my daughter, um, I hope if you go across to his channel, you'll see, I mean, this kid is, you can hardly understand, it don't sound great, if you know what I mean, like, He's got this obsession over the, this family and it's just not healthy at all. Oh my Lord, I hope to God, please. YouTube needs to do something about it and all. What do you want? Sorry guys, I don't want to stuff. Give me something. Excuse the squeaky floorboards as well. So yeah, please YouTube, you need to get this sorted because it's what happens to this family. I'm not saying it will. This kid needs bloody sorted out. He's not even a kid, I think he must be in his early 20s. I couldn't tell because he's like in the kind of a dark room. But, and they were like that with his head. So you can't really, but I don't care. Yeah. Even the raccoons, like something needs to be done. Seriously. For their safety and for everybody else's safety, please. Anyway, guys, with that being said, I'm going to have to go because my daughter is wanting something to eat and, yes, she's lazy and expects me to do everything for her. And now I need to give some cat... I need to give Ronnie and Sutty their pain relief. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Um, please put the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and press that notification bell. Let me, let me know your thoughts on this situation and if you're interested in what it is, Go across to the raccoon and watch his ch uh, video he uploaded yesterday because he can tell he's he's put all like the clips on and that's something I don't really want to be putting on my channel. I just felt I can't need you to come on, have a rant, feel and I feel for them. They don't deserve this at all. No wonder they've left, and I'm glad they're very happy. That being said, I'm going to have to go because I've just said that before and I can't keep babbing on again. Anyway, I'll catch up with you later on if you come along at about around about seven, half seven for my live and we can have a little chin wag then. See you later, guys. Enjoy the back, guys. And I'll catch up with you later. See you later.